Odometer rollbacks on used cars? Are you kidding me? I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. And today we've got a warning for you used car buyers out there. If there wasn't enough to watch out for at car dealerships, we've got another, and it's one of the worst things a dealer can do. And stay tuned for the end of today's video. We have a free offer to announce for you today. In one of the most underhanded moves known to happen with a used car, and with a shortage of good lower mileage used vehicles on the market, we're getting more and more reports of suspected odometer rollbacks. Driven by pure greed, car dealerships commit odometer fraud to sell vehicles that may be difficult to sell with those high miles. Despite the advancements in dash displays, there are a number of ways that odometer fraud can be committed. For example, a dealer might physically tamper with the mileage count. If a potential buyer is not aware of the common signs of odometer fraud, they could end up with a high mileage, unreliable vehicle that might require frequent repairs. According to our good friends over at Whitney Law, there are at least 1 million vehicles on the road that have an odometer that has been rolled back. 1 million, you guys. Yeah, that's a lot. Some fraudulent car dealerships are becoming better and more skilled at concealing the existence of an odometer rollback. Fortunately, there are various signs that you can look for to determine whether a vehicle has been tampered with, and we're going to cover those here today. Arguably, many vehicle manufacturers are making digital odometers a standard addition to their cars. However, even digital odometers are prone to tampering. In order to be repaired, these odometers must be removed from the dashboard and sent to a metering shop. While a digital odometer is being repaired, the vehicle itself should not be used. Unfortunately, some dealerships may continue to operate a vehicle without its odometer. Yep, seen that happen. Yeah. It is also possible that a dealership may not have added the adequate miles to the digital odometer. <laughs> if you observe scratch marks around the area of the odometer or see fingerprints inside the odometer, you yeah. should ask whether it was removed for repairs. Watch and listen carefully to their response. <laughs> There should also be documentation of any repairs made to the digital odometer. If the documents concerning the odometer's repairs and the dealer's statements are not adding up, you should consider visiting another dealership. Get up and walk. Yep. While there are various reasons to remove an odometer that are not fraudulent, there should also be extensive documentation about these repairs. It is also important to note that on older model odometers, it's easier for a dealership to alter the numbers manually. The visual appearance of a vehicle should match the reported mileage of a vehicle. For example, if a vehicle reportedly has 50,000 miles on the odometer, but the spark plug wires and other wires that are usually replaced around 100,000 miles look older than they should, this may be a sign of tampering. On average, a typical vehicle will accumulate approximately 12 to 15,000 miles per year. An inexplicably low amount of miles may be a sign that the vehicle has been tampered with. While it is necessary to consider the previous owner's driving habits, you should still carefully examine the vehicle's condition. Check the wear and tear on the pedals, you know, down on the floorboards. A vehicle with low miles should not have pedals that are severely worn down. Yeah. And the carpets in vehicles are very durable and usually will not display signs of wear and tear after a few thousand miles of driving. Faded and chipped paint uh, is not normal for a vehicle that has low miles. Worn down tire treads could be a sign of tampering depending on the type of tires installed on a vehicle. One of the government agencies who try to stay on top of this is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The NHTSA explains that odometer fraud is the disconnection, resetting, or alteration of a vehicle's odometer with the intent to change the number of miles indicated. NHTSA estimates that more than 450,000 vehicles are sold each year with false odometer readings, and right now, that number is suspected to be on the rise. This crime costs American car buyers more than $1 billion annually. We want consumers to know how to spot odometer fraud, how to protect against it, and who to contact if you think you're a victim of this illegal behavior. There's also the possibility of fraudulent paperwork. Right. Every vehicle should have an extensive and well-documented service history. Whenever a vehicle is repaired, the mechanic should make a note of the miles on the odometer. For example, if the oil was changed, a sticker is placed on the windshield to tell the owner about the next time an oil change is needed. Some dealerships will attempt to add false odometer readings to documents. If you notice a service report has scratched out numbers or the reported numbers do not match up with the numbers on the odometer, you should be careful about purchasing a vehicle from this dealership. It's quite clear that there are many other ways a dealership could commit odometer fraud. It is always wise to ask a mechanic to inspect a vehicle before you purchase it. Think pre-purchase inspection. 
pre-purchase inspection. Yeah, we Don't did a pass video. it up. Yeah, we did a video about that. However, if you purchased a vehicle with an odometer that was altered, you can be helped with the problem. Contact a great consumer protection attorney like our friend Dan Whitney with Whitney Law Firm in Maryland. I'm going to wrap up with this. If you haven't seen the announcement on our community page already, you should. As many know, over the last few weeks, we've been testing a new product, the MPG Extreme X-Cap for boosting fuel economy. We've had great results going from 15.88 miles per gallon to 19.43 miles per gallon, and we shared the results. But we've also seen a little confusion in our audience. Yeah. Some made comments that we were now selling snake oil or claimed that it must be a scam or that we were just doing this to make a quick buck off gullible viewers. Nothing could be further from the truth. And whether you recognize it or not, how this is being marketed through independent sales reps is pure genius. Additionally, all of the negative and skeptical comments come from failure to understand how a fuel catalyst works. There's no magic pill here. It's pure science at work. But granted, many people are unaware of how it works. There's no shame in not knowing. But just because you don't understand something doesn't mean the person who's trying to teach you is scamming you. In a nutshell, how the XCAP works is simple. Long established science proves that a fuel catalyst improves the oxygenation potential of the hydrocarbons in fuel by depolarizing the molecular bindings that create fuel clusters in all fossil fuels, particularly in heavy fossil fuels with large hydrocarbon molecules and long hydrocarbon molecule chains. In simpler terms, if you understand how a digestive enzyme works in your gut, and how it helps you get more out of your food, a fuel catalyst helps you get more energy out of your gas or diesel. From the very first day I set foot on a dealer's lot, I was on a journey to help the little guy, doing it the honest way. I still am. And don't forget, Kevin did get fired for being too honest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud of that, folks. I wear it like a badge of honor. As that dealer found out, one thing I'll never do is compromise my integrity for a buck and trust me when I say we've had tons of products cross our desk with requests to promote them. We turned them all down until we tested the MPG Extreme X cap. With fuel prices being through the roof right now, why not share this? Why not help the little guy again? It fits into our mission beautifully. We believe so much in the integrity and performance of this product. We're changing course here, so we're offering a free trial of the X cap while my supplies last to you doubters out there. You won't care very much what Scotty Kilmer thinks when you see it boost your own fuel mileage. Boom. If I'm overwhelmed with free trial requests from you guys, just be patient. We have more coming in daily and we will keep shipping until enough viewers have had a chance to sample it. Just email me at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. Please use your mailing address. Some of you are forgetting to do that. And put free trial offer in the title. We got to know where to ship this stuff, you know. And we'll send you a 100% free sample. If you are skeptical of our test, perhaps you'll believe your own lying eyes when it works for you. And then you might realize that you kind of owe us an apology if you ever question our integrity. For those who unsubscribed and left, I've learned a long time ago, not everyone can be helped. Oh well, the skeptics get to keep being slammed with high fuel prices. We tried. By the way, the link for MPG Extreme is still in the description box for you hardy folks who get that there is no magic pill here but rather it's provable science and you're willing to pony up and buy your own. By the way, with my fuel savings, I'm getting to drive free for two and a half months out of a year. And so can you. If you learned something today, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment and share with family and friends. And thank you to the many who have already taken advantage of the awesome MPG Extreme X cap. I look forward to working with each of you. And if you're new to our THG channel, don't forget to subscribe. The entire Homework Guy team is here to help you, the car owner, and that's exactly what we strive to do in every video we produce. Thanks everyone for coming back. We've got your back and mm. always have. And we'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.